away for a week. Um, my computer was broken for a couple of days. I had no... It was overheating, so it kept shutting down. So I took it to the shop to get fixed. It's still under warranty, so it was free. Cool. Um, this week, let's see here now. I have it all written down. That's why I like the blogs. On Monday, I took my dogs for a walk in the morning, and I did my Taiwanese taxes. Mm, cleaned my room, which is always a tough job with a puppy in the room. And I carried my laundry up and down three flights of stairs. Also, in the evening, I took about a 1.2 mile walk with my dogs, and then a 6 kilometer, 3.7 mile power walk on my own. On Tuesday, I was pretty lazy. I just ate a lot of fruit and sat around and did work. On Wednesday, I went for my first yoga lesson. That was very interesting. I've never done yoga before, and the class was actually pretty fun. So I spent about two hours doing yoga. Mm, and then I have this little rotating disc that I've been trying to do every day. Um, something you can get here in Asia. I don't know if it's available in the States, but it's like this. And it turns. And you just stand on it. Your feet go here. And you're supposed to use your waist to turn your waist to turn it back and forth and back and forth. Okay. I'll take the headphones off so I can actually stand up. And basically what you're supposed to do, I'm standing on it now. You're just supposed to... Wee, wee, wee. Yeah. Okay. And it's supposed to help you work. Now, sometimes what I do to make it a little bit more work is I pick up my hand weights, and I do it with the hand weights. Okay, I'm going to move back so you can see a little bit more of the action. Standing right in front of the computer is probably not the best idea. Okay, so. Don't do it right, you start turning around. You can easily start turning around. today. I wanted to be comfortable. I had a dentist appointment. I had to get one of the freaking 18 year grow molar things out. So not that bad. Last year's was worse. Okay. So that's something else I did on Wednesday. I did that for about 10 minutes on Wednesday. On Thursday I took my dogs out on two brief walks and I did some spot exercises. And then I did a short bike ride with the dogs in the morning. Not much else. Yesterday was Friday. Yesterday I went to the gym in the morning. I went to the gym for about two hours. I used every single weight machine in the gym, which is not my normal thing. Normally I do like arm machines this day and leg machines the other day, as well as every day. I normally do the waist machine, the thigh machine, and the back machine. I also did about 20 minutes on the elliptical. Now that's a personal best for me because my last time best on the elliptical was seven minutes, so this was a good one. Now, because today is Saturday and I knew how to work all day, I also wanted to do a little bit extra. Also, I knew I was going to the dentist getting that tooth out. Probably should not be talking now that the dentist told me to shut up. Um, I took my dogs on walks. I took each dog out separately. So I took Koopa on the first walk and I took him out for about a mile and a half. He pulls on the leash really bad, so I don't like to take him too long because he chokes himself. Then I took Mr. Mister on a bit of a longer walk because he walks better. In the middle of our walk, fireworks went off. Mr. is deathly afraid of the fireworks, so we had to start heading home. So altogether we got about a two kilometer, two and a half kilometer, maybe three kilometer walk for Mr. Not exactly sure. I didn't map it out. Um, on the way back with Mr. I ran in, I heard some mewing of baby kitties. Uh, at first I couldn't find it, so I brought Mr. home and got my bicycle. My bicycle has a little light on it. And I took that and I found a mother cat who had just given birth. So, extra exercise because now I'm chasing after a cat. Um, you know, it's not within easy reach, so I had to do a little bit of climbing to get to the mommy. 
and because of where she has the kid, the babies, it's a little bit of a difficult place, and I'm very, very fearful that the babies are going to fall. Because, yes, they're safe from the stray dogs and other animals, but when they start moving, when they start walking around, their eyes aren't opened yet, but when they start walking around, like, mommy goes out to find food, and they want to find mommy for food, and they start walking around, it's not a big hole, and it's... It's got nothing fencing them in to hold them up there. So I'm af really afraid that they're going to take a tumble on down and die. So I'm going to go there every day now and feed the mother cat. Put food near her in the little alcove so she has something to eat so she doesn't leave the babies too far. So I'm going to do this hopefully for a month or until the babies really start moving. And then um, when they can actually jump down themselves, that is. Hopefully nothing happens to them before then. I don't know how many there are. It's too high. I could not see it clearly. So, I'm just hoping that the mother can not leave that much until they're big enough because I'm really afraid they're going to fall. Um, bring the mommy food and then I hope in a month and a half, two months, when the babies are big enough, I'm going to take the mother. I'm going to, I have uh, cages. I'm going to trap her and take her to get fixed. So, once she's fixed, she'll be able to go anywhere to eat food because there's lots of people in that area that do feed the strays. And then the little kittens, I plan to, as soon as they're, they look big enough to separate from the mother, since I can't be sure how old they are, I want to take them in and find them new homes. Two of my little kitties that were here, two of the little kittens, just found their new home today. Hopefully, it'll be a complete home. We'll see. It's trial run for a week. If you like some, they'll stay. So, that's good. Still have one more kitten. Stop eating the garbage, dog. Okay. Doggy likes to take stuff out of the garbage. Okay, so that's about an update for my week. I did my measurements today. Um, not much changed. I didn't really ooh, exercise that well this week. So, now nah, everything's about the same. My weight's more than it was last week by a kilogram, which is about two pounds. Otherwise, the measurements are all about the same. That just stayed flatlined. So, no big difference from last week. I don't think I did as much exercise as I should have done. Um, I kind of had a, like, a lazy, relaxed week more until yesterday. And then today, I'm not quite that comfortable, but I'm going to go out for a bike ride in a little bit because I have to feed the mommy cat and stuff. Oh. Yeah, swelling hurts, so I'm not allowed to eat, so I shouldn't do that much today. Um, I ate a big lunch before I went to the dentist because I knew I wouldn't be allowed to eat the rest of the night. I'm thinking about doing a cleanse for the next couple of days, uh, maybe starting on Monday. Just one of those fruit cleanses. I can eat all the fruit I want and lean protein, but no carbs, no stuff, just, and raw veggies, raw fruits, raw veggies, and lean protein. Just for a couple of days, just three days. I don't want to go crazy. I've heard some good things about like a quick cleanse and I don't think it can be that bad. Because you think about certain religions that have fasting days or fasting months where they can't eat till up till sundown, from sun up to sundown. So, and those cultures, a lot of them are very, very healthy. So, I'm going to take your doing, I can't go without eating. I have low blood sugar. That's impossible. But at least do a little kickstart, clean my body. Maybe then I'll have an easier time pushing the sugar away good yesterday. I went to Subway for my lunch and I got a salad instead of something with bread. I got the salad with the grilled chicken on top and I'm sitting there like, I really want a cookie. I really want a cookie. No, 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 no. I'm not getting a cookie. Just the salad. Okay, no cookie. Good. I got home. I had the sweet craving. I ate a piece of fruit. So I did good yesterday. Ow. I'm not very good at staying away from my cravings. So, um, I've already been talking for 10 minutes. Wow. Okay. I'm going to cut it there because I should not be talking this long. So, See you guys next time. Bye-bye.